Hey y'all, it's Terrence here about to cook my family's famous stew chicken. This is just a Caribbean recipe. You know, my family's from St. Lucia. We've cooked this ever since I was born. My grandmother taught me it, my grandmother and my mom when they came down here. Here we go, first you gotta start off by cleaning the chicken. There's a lot of controversy about cleaning chicken in your own sink, but I think that's an excuse to not clean your chicken. This will feed probably three people, three or four people, depending on how hungry you are. Uh, this takes about 45 minutes on the stove, and I would say 10 to 15 a season. There you have it, clean chicken. The season is definitely key to success because, you know, if you don't have a season, then it's just gonna taste like some bland, raw chicken. Oh yeah, I also, I test this one. We've just been doing it for so long, I don't know what to tell y'all. So this one's adobo. I just put in some regular salt, some black pepper, Need it. <coughs> Woo, that pepper. Just some paprika for some spice. Garlic salt for a garlic taste. Not too much, just a little bit. Some seasoned salt, more salt. It's a lot of salt that goes on into this. All right, here we go. Put a little bit of curry in it, just a little. And believe it or not, ketchup. I heard some people call it ketchup chicken. It's not it, it's called stewed chicken. So what I'm pulling out right now, some fresh veggies, some peppers, meat them some scallions, add to the taste, some more peppers, some tomatoes. I'm about to get some uh, garlic in a second. And some onion. Keep it nice and sharp. Onion, tomatoes. So I put the seeds inside. Give a little spice too. More peppers. These are the spicy ones though. So I'm cutting the scallions now. Put these in there. It's probably more professional way of cutting these. But hey, I'm a professional basketball player, you know, professional cook. All right, last step, the browning sauce. This is what makes the stew chicken brown. I put two capfuls of these, sometimes three. I don't know what's in it, but it's good. All right, seasoned chicken, let that sit marinate. And I'm written down for this recipe, not yet at least. I might make a little, a little book, but I haven't thought about, you know, opening a restaurant when I retire or anything, but you know, this keeping me busy during the quarantine kind of makes me want to do it or think about doing it. Chicken's done marinating, time to move to the stove. Get this on the fire. First step at the stove, vegetable oil. I, I test it once again, I don't know. Stove stays on medium though. Keep it on medium, it cooks on medium. All right, this is the big surprise. Brown sugar. Yeah, you heard it here first. Next step, chicken. Get that all in there. 45 minutes on the stove. And a cup of water. This is where it stews, sits for 45, and then I'll start my rice about 25 minutes in. Yeah. I'll check it in probably every 15 minutes. Make sure that all the chickens in there are good and cooking. It smells really good, actually. Make sure all the pieces of chicken get a piece of the fire. And make sure it's cool. Yep. It's a chief. Make some rice to go with the chicken. Good. All right, so here we got the rice. So this is the masterpiece right here. Yes, that's what it looks like. Nice and soft, tender, falling off the bone. You take the gravy, put that on the rice. Great. Back next episode with some jerk chicken.